Formula One engines have one of the most distinct and exhilarating sounds in motorsport. But why do they sound so different from road cars? And more importantly, can you recreate that iconic high-pitched scream on your own car? The answer is yes, but it's not as simple as just removing your muffler. Today we're diving deep into how to build an F1 sounding exhaust system. From choosing the right materials, to understanding the key components that shape that signature sound. Why do F1 cars sound so high pitched? F1 cars sound different because they rev much higher than road cars, sometimes up to 19,000 RPM. But it's not just about revs. We need to break down the entire exhaust system to understand what makes the magic happen. Number one, the engine configuration. Most modern cars have a cross-plane V8 or an inline engine with a firing order that creates a lower pitched throaty sound. But F1 cars use flat plane crank engines that fire evenly, producing a more consistent high frequency exhaust pulse. If you're trying to get that F1 pitch, the engine design matters. A high revving flat plane crank V8, like those found in Ferrari's road cars, gets you closer to the sound naturally. But we can push it even further with the right exhaust setup. Chapter two, choosing the right materials. Choosing the right material for your exhaust. When it comes to crafting an F1 inspired exhaust, the material you choose is just as important as the design. Titanium and stainless steel are the two main contenders, each with its own strengths and drawbacks. Titanium, lightweight, but challenging. Titanium is the go-to material for F1 teams. It's incredibly lightweight, about 40% lighter than stainless steel, which helps reduce overall vehicle weight and improve performance. But there's a catch. Titanium is extremely difficult to work with. Welding challenges, unlike stainless steel, titanium requires a fully inert welding environment, meaning the welds must be shielded from oxygen using argon gas. Even the slightest contamination can weaken the welds. Bending issues. Titanium is much harder to bend than stainless steel. Instead of smoothly shaping pipes, fabricators cut and weld multiple small sections to create curves. This makes the process time consuming and expensive. Durability concerns. Over time, repeated heat cycles cause titanium to become brittle and prone to cracking. The constant heating and cooling from an exhaust system, especially in high performance applications, can shorten its lifespan. F1 teams replace exhaust systems frequently, often after every race or even after a few sessions during a race weekend. F1 exhaust operates at temperatures exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius, causing extreme thermal cycling. This weakens even the highest grade titanium over time. So if you don't want to have to replace your exhaust too often, stainless steel seems like a better choice. That's why, despite its lightweight advantages, titanium isn't always the best choice for a long-term street-driven exhaust. Stainless steel, durable and easier to work with. Many enthusiasts and aftermarket exhaust builders opt for stainless steel instead. While it's heavier than titanium, it offers several key benefits. It's easier to weld. Stainless steel is much more forgiving during fabrication. It doesn't require an ultra pure welding environment, making it more accessible for builders. Easier to shape. Unlike titanium, stainless steel can be bent smoothly, reducing the need for excessive cuts and welds. Longer lifespan. Stainless steel is resistant to cracking from heat cycles, making it ideal for street and track use. A well-built stainless steel exhaust will outlast a titanium one in daily driven conditions. Which one is right for you? If you're chasing absolute weight savings and exotic materials, titanium is the way to go. But be prepared for a shorter lifespan and higher fabrication costs. If you want something that's more practical, durable and easier to maintain, stainless steel is the smarter choice. For F1 teams, every gram counts. The longevity isn't as crucial because parts are replaced frequently. For real world use, stainless steel might just be the better long term investment. Key components of an F1 style exhaust. Headers, the foundation of the sound. Your headers are the first step in shaping the exhaust tone. Equal length headers ensure that exhaust pulses arrive at the same time, creating a smoother, more refined sound. But if they are unequal, the pulses clash, making the exhaust note rougher. To get the F1 pitch, we need long tube, equal length headers. Resonators, the secret weapon. Resonators help fine tune the frequencies. Some F1 teams even design their exhausts 
with Helmholtz chambers to cancel out lower frequencies and emphasize the high pitched notes. But if you remove the resonators, you might get an uneven, more aggressive raw scream. It depends on how refined you want your sound to be. Catalytic converters to keep or delete. Catalytic converters filter emissions, but also muffle high frequencies. Therefore, some people delete them for a louder, more aggressive tone. But be careful, removing them is illegal in many places. A high flow race cat is a better option if you want to stay street legal while still getting close to the F1 sound. Some cars have valved exhausts, which allows you to choose between a muffled tone and a straight pipe at the press of a button. F1 cars are essentially straight piped. No mufflers, no restrictions, just pure sound. If you want the most authentic F1 scream, you need to eliminate restrictions and let the exhaust flow freely, building the exhaust step by step. Now that we understand the components, let's talk about how to actually build your F1 sounding exhaust. Step 1. Measuring and cutting the pipes. Measure twice, cut once. Titanium is expensive, so precision is key. Use a bandsaw for clean cuts. Titanium requires TIG welding and argon gas shielding to prevent oxidization. But welding titanium is tricky because it contaminates easy. You must clean every surface and weld in a controlled environment. 3. Test fitting and adjustments. Before final welding, test fit everything. If a pipe sits at the wrong angle, it can affect exhaust flow and ruin the sound. Therefore, small adjustments can now save major headaches later. Step 4. Final assembly and first startup. Now comes the moment of truth. Start the engine. Listen, adjust if necessary. But what if the tone isn't high pitched enough? You might need to experiment with pipe diameters, length, or even an extra X-pipe to fine tune the sound. So can you make your car sound like an F1 car? Yes, but it takes precision, the right materials, and an understanding of exhaust acoustics. There's something unmistakable about the sound of a Formula 1 car. It's sharp, high-pitched, and absolutely intoxicating. But achieving that sound isn't as simple as just removing a muffler or adding an aftermarket exhaust. It's all about engineering, choosing the right engine, tuning the exhaust system properly, and using the right materials. But modern streetcars don't sound like F1 cars from the early 2000s. Therefore, to recreate that signature scream, you need to look at how F1 engines work, what components make the biggest impact, and what streetcars replicate the effect with the right modifications. The engine, the heart of the sound. F1 cars today use turbocharged V6 hybrid engines, but the most iconic high-pitched sounds came from the naturally aspirated V10s and V12s of the 1990s and early 2000s. Legendary F1 engines that created the signature sound. Ferrari Tipo 051 V10 2002, used in Schumacher's dominant era, revving up to 18,000 RPM. Honda RA099 V10, a prototype that never raced, but showcased the high-pitched scream of the era. The Renault RS24 V10 2004 produced a raw mechanical sound that defined peak F1 audio. Oh, that sound is just so good, man. I mean, oh. <laughs> the greatest sound of a racing car ever. What? I hate that they've got rid of it. <laughs> Ferrari 3 litre V12 412 T2, one of the last V12 F1 engines, famous for its incredible whale. <laughs> Modern road cars rarely rev past 8,000 RPM. To mimic an F1 sound, we need an engine that revs high and is naturally aspirated. Here's a few engine options. The affordable street engines that can get close. BMW S85 V10 from the E60 M5. 5 litre, revs to 8,250 RPM. Sounds exotic with the right exhaust. <laughs> 
Ford Triton V10 from Trucks, a more budget-friendly V10, but with the right tuning, it can sing. High-end exotic engines for the ultimate sound. Ferrari F136 V8 from the F430, a high revving flat plane crank V8, already close to F1. Lamborghini V10 from Gallardo Huracan can produce a piercing note. Ferrari 6.5 litre V12 from the A12 Superfast, one of the best sounding modern engines capable of F1 like tones. But even with the right engine, the sound won't be right without a properly designed exhaust. Therefore, we need to break down what makes an F1 exhaust unique. The exhaust system, engineering the perfect scream. Electronic valves switching between stealth and scream. When the valves are closed, exhaust gases are routed through a muffler, making the car quieter. When the valves open, gases pass by the muffler, going through the X-pipe or straight out. This allows for dual personality, quiet when you need it, loud when you want it. How it all comes together, the final result. If you combine a high revving engine, V10, V12 or high RPM V8, equal length long tube headers, a double X pipe for smooth pulses, titanium or straight through resonators, a valve exhaust system for control, you can create an exhaust that closely mimics an F1 car, high pitched, metallic and screaming at high RPM. This setup takes time, tuning and the right components. Therefore, it's essential to experiment, test and fine tune the system to get the perfect F1 inspired tone. Building an F1 style exhaust isn't just about making your car loud, it's about precision engineering. But with the right combination of engines, headers, X-pipes and valve control, you can transform an ordinary car into something that sounds like it belongs on the grid at Monaco. Therefore, if you're ready to turn heads and experience the thrill of an F1-like scream on the streets, start planning your build today. Tuning, fine tuning the F1 sound. Even with the perfect exhaust setup, your car won't sound truly F1-like without proper tuning. But why does tuning matter for sound? Let's break down how ECU mapping, ignition timing and fuel management can shape the exhaust note. One of the biggest reasons F1 cars sound so unique is their insanely high red lines. The V10s of the early 2000s revved up to 19,000 RPM, while modern road cars often max out around 7 to 8,000 RPM. How to raise the red line? ECU tuning. Many factory limiters are software based and can be safely increased. Upgraded valve springs and lightweight internals reduces valve float at high RPMs. Balancing and blueprinting the engine ensures stability at high speeds. But just raising the rev limiter isn't enough. Ignition timing and fuel tuning must also be adjusted. Ignition timing, sharpening the exhaust note. F1 engines use aggressive ignition timing to maximize power and efficiency at high revs. Adjusting this on a streetcar can make the exhaust crisper and sharper, bringing it closer to an F1 tone. Advanced ignition strategies for a sharper sound. Individual throttle body tuning improves throttle response and sound clarity. High energy ignition coils ensures a strong, consistent spark at high speeds. But timing adjustments alone won't fully refine the tone. Therefore, fuel delivery also needs to be optimized. Fuel mixture and airflow creating the razor sharp tone. The right fuel mixture doesn't just impact power, it also shapes the harmonics of the exhaust note. F1 engines run ultra lean mixtures at high RPMs, which helps create that iconic piercing sound. How to optimize fuel for a sharper exhaust note. Leaner AFR, air fuel ratio, tuning at high RPMs helps produce a higher pitched tone. High octane fuel or E85 burns cleaner, resulting in a crisper sound. 
velocity stacks or high flow intake systems ensure smooth airflow for a more refined pitch. But tuning isn't just about sound. It's crucial to monitor the engine to avoid damage. Dynometer testing, perfecting the sound on a dyno. A dyno or dynometer isn't just for measuring power. It's also a crucial tool for dialing in the F1 sound. How dyno testing helps fine tune the exhaust note allows for real-time adjustments to fuel ignition and airflow, helps detect unwanted resonance or drone frequencies, can simulate track conditions to test how the exhaust performs under load. By using a combination of ECU tuning, ignition timing and dyno testing, we can maximise the sharpness, pitch and aggressiveness of the exhaust note, bringing it closer to an F1 scream. But even with the best hardware, a poorly tuned engine will never sound like an F1 car. Investing in proper tuning is just as important as the exhaust system itself. Raise the rev limit to push the engine into higher frequencies. Adjust the ignition timing to sharpen the note. Optimize fuel delivery for a leaner, crisper burn. Use dyno testing to fine tune the final result. With these adjustments, your engine won't just be loud, it will sing with the precise, high-pitched wail of an F1 car. Engine firing sequence, the secret to that distinctive sound. Have you ever wondered why an F1 car's scream is so different from a Lamborghini's growl or a Bugatti's deep roar? The answer lies in the engine firing sequence. But what exactly is a firing sequence? Let's break it down and see how it shapes an engine sound. What is a firing sequence? The firing sequence is the order in which each cylinder ignites during an engine's rotation. This plays a major role in engine balance, how smoothly the engine runs, exhaust pulses, how the sound waves are spaced out, vibration and harmonics, how high pitched or deep the exhaust note is. But not all engines fire in the same way. Different firing sequences create different sounds. Formula One firing sequence, the high pitched scream. F1 engines have evolved through different configurations. The V10 era, 1990s to 2005, mostly used a firing order like 1, 5, 6, 3, 2, 10, 7, 8, 4, 9 for a balance at high RPMs. V8 era, 2006 to 2013, typically used 1, 8, 5, 10, 2, 7, 4, 9, 6, 3 with flat plane crankshafts. V6 turbo hybrid era, 2014 to present, the 1, 6, 3, 2, 5, 4 sequence helps balance the power of the turbo an electric hybrid system. Why does this matter? F1 engines fire evenly and quickly due to their high cylinder count. Flat plane crankshafts and lightweight internals let them rev past 15,000 RPM, creating that signature shrill scream. The firing order is designed for maximum efficiency, power delivery and exhaust scavenging. But street supercars and hypercars have a different goal. Therefore, their firing sequences are optimized for drivability and sound, rather than extreme RPMs. F1 engines have rapid, evenly spaced pulses, creating a piercing high RPM scream. Lamborghini, Ferrari and Pagani engines are designed for power and character, with firing orders that shape their signature tones. Bugatti's Quad Turbo W16 uses a complex firing pattern prioritizing smoothness over a screaming exhaust note. But firing order is just one part of the equation. To achieve that F1 sound, the exhaust system, tuning and a rev range all need to work in perfect harmony. What do you think of the F1 sound? What's your favorite F1 car of all time? Let us know in the comments. If you're serious about building an F1 sounding exhaust, follow these steps, test your setup and get ready to turn heads every time you hit the throttle. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.